Hi, do you understand how the chemicals affect how our heart beats? I do. It took me a while to find out, but now I can tell you. Let's go. This graph represents the charge across the cell wall, um, which is important to understand when understanding the electrical activity within the heart. And this change in charge is achieved by the movement of ions across the cell wall. Um, and we'll talk about some of those ions now, and you can see why those are important when we're looking after the patient with cardiac problems. So you can see here that the charge starts mainly negative and then goes slightly positive and then returns to a negative value. And I'm going to explain to you now how that happens. So this circle represents the cell and the membrane and we're at point one here so we're very negative and what's happening here is that sodium is slowly leaking into the cell, gradually increasing the positive charge. So the line goes upwards quite steadily to point two. Then at point two, this is what's known as the threshold value. And at this point, when we reach this threshold, you get calcium gated channels, which will open, allowing the influx of positively charged calcium into the cell which rapidly then increases the charge across the membrane to a more positive value so you can see the line is rising quite quickly now until we get up to point three and what happens at point three is that those calcium channels then close so we've got less positive calcium going into the cell and at the same time, we have potassium channels which open, allowing potassium out of the cell quite quickly. So now what happens is we're losing positive charge from within the cell to outside the cell, making the action potential or the difference between the charge now become much more negative very, very quickly. And it's this which causes the muscles to twitch. Then, as the potassium goes out of the cell, we get all the way back down to point four. And when we get there, those potassium channels then close. And as a consequence, we've now got just sodium leaking into the cell. And we're back to the start. So it's all about those ions, sodium, calcium and potassium which is making this action potential work. I hope you found that useful. There are going to be more on this topic, so keep an eye out and remember to subscribe and then you'll know when those videos are going to be released. See you soon.